everybody, DZ here, and today we're bringing you a new video on Town Hall 8 Farm Raids. Really awesome video, bunch of different styles of, of farming in Town Hall 8, all very effective. Very effective. Since when do I say very? I mean, that's ridiculous. <laughs> so, anyway, getting to the video. This first video is actually a Dragaloon attack. It's a small Dragaloon attack. It uses three dragons and the rest balloons. And the way we do this particular attack is you put one dragon on every location where there is an air defense. So we see we start off on the bottom, we put one dragon in and put a couple balloons on behind it. Uh, we took out that first air defense, then we put one on the top right, did the same thing. Put another dragon on the top left, did the same thing. Now before you know it, all three air defenses are down. We can put in the rest of the balloons, we still have dragons alive. And we have all, the, the whole base is wide open as far as no air defenses, bunch of balloons left up. And two dragons now one dragons left standing so we have a we have a, You know, there's not a lot of troops left, but there's not a lot of defenses left either Not not a lot that will hurt the balloons So the balloons will easily take out the entire base and then we have 20 minions that will come in at the end and take out all of the all the trash buildings and all of the resource buildings so great three-star attack um, Great great strategy too. now. This is a uh, this has very little dark elixir impact it's not a clean Dark Elixir raid. In other words, it does use some. And I know a lot of people, when they're out uh, resource hunting for Dark Elixir, they try to build armors that have absolutely no Dark Elixir in it. And I get that. I really do. But uh, I always use a, a few troops in there that have Dark Elixir. Just because they seem to be some of the best Dark Elixir gatherers. It seems like the Dark Elixir troops do the best job getting the Dark Elixir, getting to the core. So, um... We use minions to clean up the base. They take out the whole base. Three star. Uh, looks like it was about 2,000 Dark Elixir on this raid. A couple hundred thousand each. 300,000 each. So it's a great overall raid. Uh, now this next raid. It, it This was not a Dark Elixir raid. This is just a... Um, I believe this was a, a revenge attack. And we used uh, Valkyries. We used healers. We used hog riders. Uh, we used a whole arsenal. Basically it's almost like a war attack. But uh, still, another great um, attack style. Uh, in Town Hall 8, you'll, anyone who's gone through Town Hall 8 and is towards the end of Town Hall 8, um, there's a lot of stuff that you need to do with your gold and not a lot of stuff left to do with the elixir. So once you start running out of stuff to upgrade with elixir and you only have gold stuff left, um, you know, for example, you have a troop that's in, the, bar uh, that's in the, the lab, so you can't upgrade anything in the lab. And all of your offensive stuff's done, like the camps and the barracks and everything are done. Well, now you're just basically collecting gold. You're doing your walls. You're doing the dark elixir stuff. So you can put in these big armies. So this army was a real big, strong army for a good revenge attack. And don't be afraid to put in some big troops. Now, something else that, that I wanted to mention in this video. Try to make a point every video. And one of my points is, if you are... If, you, if you're farming most of the time and going to war and you're having a hard time in war I would suggest building your war attack over and over and over and using it while you're farming a lot of people they, they'll farm with barbarians and archers and they do a great job they'll get tons of resources they hardly spend anything but then it comes time for war and they can't do anything because they don't have any practice so by building these big um, war party type uh, raids with your war troops while you're farming it not only almost ensures you get the three stars um, it also ensures you that you'll get good practice in for your um, for your war experience so wars you know we, we war constantly but that's still only three a week so that's still only six attacks a week six attacks a week is not enough practice to become a better player so you're gonna have to become a better player by using those troops while you're farming too it's a really big thing that that a lot of people they don't do it enough. I I notice I notice by what our guys ask for they'll ask for troops that are really weak, and then it comes time for their war attack and they're just not quite on, and they, and then then they start using their war troops to farm with. Next thing you know, their war attacks are just another raid. So that's what you want it to be like. You want your war attacks to be just like another raid, and you don't you won't have that added pressure because you already know how to put all the troops in. You know how to spawn them all, you know where, how they all work together, and it's not a big guesswork game because you don't remember what happened three days ago. 
So just a suggestion. Um, I've suggested this to our guys. Anyone uh, new to the game, um, don't just use your farm troops farming. Use big troops every once in a while too. It'll make you better at war. Now, this next attack is a uh, Loonian attack. The balloons, ever since the buff in December 2016, are just uh, probably the strongest troop in the game. They drop the first bombs really, really fast. And it's not like it used to be. It used to be that the balloons would sit up over a target for a minute and they could get annihilated by doing that. And you'd have to be an elite attacker to use balloons uh, well. Especially in Town Hall 8 where you have the, the level 5 red balloons that are kind of squishy. But uh, with these loony attacks now, they drop the first balloon so fast that if you put if you put them into those two first rage spells, before you know it, half the base is gone. And I would I would suggest that I've always suggested to our guys that everyone should have a good air attack and a good ground attack. Um, the Loonian attack is a really good practice raid for the Lava Loon for Town Hall Nine or the La Loon. Um, so. Start using the balloons. If you if you haven't used balloons yet, then you need to. Um, I I don't say that about a lot of troops because it, it's your game, it's your base. You do what you want. But the balloons are such a big troop. Um, I almost think they're more important than the hog riders. I I, I won't say that again because I, I can't believe I said that to begin with. But the, they're just such a strong troop right now, and I don't think they're gonna buff them either. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't think they're gonna nerf them either. I think they're gonna stay like this. So get out there and use those balloons. Just don't attack me with them. Because I'm sick of you people attacking me with these damn balloons. Alright, this next attack. I believe this next attack was... I'm going to have to wait just like you, apparently. Now, this is another attack from Easy. Easy's my Town Hall 8. He's the, he's the newest member to, uh, to the collection of Easy's. For, for those of you that are new to the channel, I have four accounts. One of them is mine, and two of them were my children's. That... that didn't understand that Clash actually takes work to upgrade, so they gave up, and I took over. And then we have Little Easy, which again was one of my kids that she gave up after three days. She got back in and out within three days. That's some stamina for a ten, for a uh, twelve-year-old. <laughs> oh well, kind of showed my age. All right, so this one, another Lunian attack. Again, we started off with a, 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 a row of balloons, and then we put a rage spell on top of two of the air defenses. That pushes the row of balloons way past uh, the, the air defenses. We have we have minions that go in. Now I waited a little while with, with these minions. Uh, I just wanted to make sure the balloons got all the way through before I put the minions in because I want to make sure that the minions got to the dark elixir. Because for those of you who have done this attack a lot, if you put the minions in at the same time as the balloons, they get into that rage spell with the balloons, and that's very effective. The problem is, is that. If something happens to the balloons and they die off quick, well the minions do too, and then you don't end up getting to the dark, dark elixir in the core. Now this attack is not a three star attack. And I, I like to th show mostly three star attacks, but I wanted to show this attack because this was such a high resource base. And I didn't expect a three star. I didn't three star, but I got almost all of the resources. So I wanted to play this to show everyone you don't have to three star every time. Don't be afraid to go after really big bases. Um, I believe that I got so many res. I, I still started the base because I'm trying to. I'm, I'm tr actually trying to push ahead to masters with this account because I want to get the gems for it. Try not to spend as much um, money on gems as I have in the past, <laughs> which is, should be everyone's goal. Try to for anyone who plays and spends gems. I, I'm an advocate for spending some money on on what you love. If this is your hobby, then don't be afraid to spend a few dollars on it. Especially because the company that makes the game, they need revenue to keep the updates coming out. So don't be one of those cheap people that thinks that the game is evil because they expect you to spend a little, a few dollars. We expect those uh, updates to come and we expect them to be incredible. They don't do those for free. So, But at the same time, I don't want to spend $100 a month either. I want to try to minimize... Uh, minimize how much I spend by progressing in the game they give you opportunities to get a large amounts of gems at certain parts of the game one of them is when you hit masters league for the first time that's a thousand so trying to get those thousand gems trying to push it ahead to masters and so when I run across bases like this right here you don't want to lose you don't want to lose trophies I'm, wanna, I'm con consistently trying to push ahead with trophies to get to masters but you don't want to pass up big loot opportunities like this I think this one right here is about a million loot that I was able to get off one base only got one star on it, but still, uh, whenever you have a chance to go for a million, go for it, man. Uh, 
It's also, again, you may be asked to attack, as a Town Hall 8, you probably won't have to attack a lot of Town Hall 9s. But there are times where you're going to have to do a, 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 a scouting attack on a Town Hall 9, maybe even a Town Hall 10. To try to pull the Clan Castle troops out and give your 10s or your 9s an opportunity to take a good look at the base. Uh, you know, you may have nothing to attack down where you're at. There may be uh, plenty of Town Hall 8s in your clan, but only 2 or 3 Town Hall 9s. So you get all the Town Hall 8s taken care of, and you have an attack left. There's only Town Hall 9s, and, and you don't know what to do. Well, attack them. Uh, go in and try to uh, isolate certain defenses and bully them. That's that's the best way to, to bust into a base, is to bully certain defenses. And uh, overwhelm certain defenses and push your way into the base. Try to get those Clan Castle troops to come out and give your clan a good look at what's inside the Clan Castle. And maybe what kind of traps are along the outside of that particular part of the base. So... This is a really good raid. Um, now this this right here, what are we gonna do? I think what I want to do now is I want to go out and do a live raid. This is not something I do often, so don't expect a three star. But I think I'm gonna go out and do a live raid now, and I want to do this more as time goes on, um, just to show you how good these balloons are. I'm gonna go out and find a, a good base to attack with the Lunian army. And we'll see what we can come up with. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm going to find a, I'm going to find at least a good base to attack. It's going to probably take a while. I don't know. It may take 50 necks because that's common, but it may only take five or six. Let's see. I think my next three. I don't like that one. Four. Now this one looks good. Look at all that. Whenever you see those full storages in the middle, you've got to be tempted there. It's got 2,000 Dark Elixir, it's got 300,000 Elixir, 140,000 Gold, we're going to take this base right here. Um, now look, now if you see, as you're scouting the base, I always scout, you know, you have 30 seconds to scout, so I'm going to scout this, and I'm looking here, and you have the, um, I have all these air defenses on the outside, so let's take care of these air defenses first. We'll put the king in, get rid of this air sweeper, the air sweeper... It may not do any damage, but it actually does a lot to your troops. Uh, it, it pushes your air, air troops back. So here we go. I'm going to put some a dragon and some balloons on the first air defense. Then I'm going to come over on the other side here and put a dragon and some more balloons on the other air defense. And we have one more air defense on the back side that I have to get to. But I got two rage spells here. See, I, I, don't, I don't talk as well when I'm actually playing live. <laughs> On the back end, you always want to use your clan castle balloons if you can. And so now I've got the clan castle troops in. They're actually a lot sturdier, so they can go through a lot more. And it looks like they're making their way towards the, the middle real good. I still have 13 balloons left. I'm just going to put a big line in right here. And we'll put a rage spell in to push them all through the base. Oh, I'm going to get this base. I can tell right now. There's just not too... There's not enough... Uh, there's not enough air targeting defenses left to stop me here unless something crazy happens. I got 12 minions left. We'll hold off on the minions for a few seconds and start putting them in. See, it, see, if you you always want to wait for those last few minions because you see how there's the the um, archer tower, and I, I think I put those in a little too soon. The archer tower is going to snipe them out. As soon as that archer tower targets the balloons, then I can put the minions in on the archer tower, and then that ensures me that I'm attacking it from two directions. We've got all of the defenses. Now we're just cleaning the house. So, this shows you how strong the Lunian attack is. That base was, it, it's not maxed as far as walls, but it was maxed as far as defenses. And it was just simple. I mean, it really was. And they don't always go like this for me. Um, they hardly ever go like this live. So, there it is. Alright guys, that was, that's, the end of, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, there's some good attacks here, so if you don't know how to, you know, if you're kind of stuck on attacks, this is a really good video to show you some different attacks you can do in Town Hall 8. So, uh, watch the video again if you have to. Copy some of these uh, troop compositions and, uh, and go at it. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching till the end. Sub to the channel, guys. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care.
dance.